Mr. Albert Wiggum. You're quite a famous man for being strong and standing up for your country. Can you please tell us what's your feelings and what you're thinking about this proposed LNG plant on North Head? Well, as you say, I'm from the Dampier Peninsula. I actually live here now. I'm about three kilometres down the road. I've got a small outstation on the coast, which is about three kilometres north of where this proposed site is. I've, uh, I've had vested interest in creating my own uh, investment up on the coastline there. I've got 15 acres of property that I was looking at to establish some sort of caravan or accommodation tourism facility to invest into my family to try and generate some sort of, you know, um, infrastructure, I guess, some sort of sustainability for my children. And now with this gas proposal uh, going up ahead and running, and with this uh, threat of development on our coastline, it's, it's quite a scary reality for us people who have been a part of this country for our whole lifetime, you know. And we've always had some sort of connection and some level or to some degree with, with this country. And it's just scary to think that the, the powers of poli politics, you know, can, can dictate anything, you know, in people's lives. And it's more or less playing such a strong presence now in our lives because we are wat watching politics more or less dictate the terms and conditions of our own traditional homelands now, you know, places that we've always had, you know, a sense of connection and belongingness. We are now being told that, you know, this homeland or this country now is going to be used for other, other means like industrial development. And my concern now, or one thing that I'm fighting for now is to try and say to government, say to people of Australia now, is the fact that gone are the days of, you know, Aboriginal people being told what to do and always being told that, you know, governments and, and, and political policies have always known what would be the best interest of Aboriginal people. Those days are gone now, you know. What, what we are seeing or what I'm witnessing now and what I believe in now is the fact that Aboriginal people who live in their remote homelands have the ability to create and develop their own sustainable infrastructure, you know, to, to establish their own means of contributing back to, you know, the, the federal economy, you know, and, and, and contributing on the same terms and levels as the average Australian person, you know. But they're not getting the opportunity now because of the threat of industry, the threat of development, Especially, you know, there are other threats like agriculture. There are other forms of development that threaten indigenous people from creating their own sustainability. You know, and that's inevitably that's what we're after. You know, we're just after Australia recognizing us as Aboriginal people who can run our own affairs, who can who can create our own economy. You know, and who can generate revenue to contribute to other Aboriginal people around our area. You know, we we want to show Australia that we are capable capable, you know, of, of doing this. And, you know, gone are the days of government telling us what we need. Government, you know, saying that we've got all this money to, to, to try and establish this sort of infrastructure, this sort of st sustainability for Aboriginal people, you know. And they've never done it. Nothing's happened. We're now still sitting on our asses thinking, you know, what has actually happened? You know, what sort of say do we have? What sort of authority do we have? And we don't have any authority. We've got no say, and you know, so more or less, we need to do that. We need to focus on that now as Aboriginal people. We need to focus and build ourselves together. We need to get together, and we really need to look at how we can better represent ourselves independently and from a place where we generate, generate our own source of power, you know, our own source of support. And then once we come from that place, once we come from that sort of representation, then, then we will be a lot, you know, content as to what will happen in regards to development on our country, you know? <laughs> That's about it.